animal bronchoscopy in bowel. A comprehensive examination of the animal's airway bronchoscopy may be considered when the animal presents with symptoms such as chronic cough, persistent halitosis, preoperative conformation of a suspected foreign body, tracheal compression or dilation, respiratory distress and hemoptysis. If tumors and polyps are found during the examination, samples may be collected by sampling forceps, traps. If mucus or inflammatory manifestations are found, samples can be collected by alveolar lavage or cytobrush for the next cytological and microbiological examination. Noscope selection for animal bronchoscopy in bowel. The endoscope used in this examination, TK Vetkidi C120, which is 2.8 mm outer diameter, 1.2 mm working channel, 610 mm working length, has the functions of suction channel, working channel, left and right rotation, up and down bending, etc. TK Vetkid endoscope supports left and right rotation, which can reduce the hand operation fatigue of doctors, and at the same time improve the efficiency of surgery and increase the success rate of surgery. Auxiliary equipment and instruments for animal bronchoscopy and bowel. Required equipment. Monitor. Anesthesia machine. Endoscope. Suction machine. Supplies and medications needed. Drug-sensitive transfer test strips, sterile disposable vacuum, blood collection tubes, slide saline 20 ml syringe, disposable sputum collector, disposable suction pipe. Pre-surgery preparation. Fasting. Pre-surgery preparation. 1. Fasting for 8 hours before surgery to empty the stomach contents to prevent the risk of vomiting, aspiration, reflux or even asphyxiation during surgery. 2. Pre-surgery routine examination, including blood routine, biochemistry, x-ray, CT, etc. Pre-surgery preparation, endoscope testing. Observe whether the field of view is clear. If the field of view has been blocked by foreign objects, Please dip a cotton ball into alcohol to wipe. Check whether the endoscope functions are normal, including left and right rotation, up and down bending angle, suction button, etc. Open the 10.1-inch image processor and open the recording function in advance according to the surgical demand, so that the operation can be reviewed and evaluated after the operation. It can also be used as a proof of surgical operation. Because the endoscope body is made of rubber, it is necessary to use lubricant before entering the endoscope, so as not to cause harm to the surgical animal. This operation uses chlorhexidine, which can both sterilize and play the effect of lubrication, pre-surgery preparation, anesthesia and monitoring, intravenous injection of sedatives and pre-oxygenation for more than 10 minutes, implement tracheal intubation, Paying attention to the tracheal tube sleeve fully inflated to help reduce the risk of mice aspiration. Tracheal intubation is suitable for surgical operations with long examination time, and a T-connector is needed for intubation. With one end connected to the anesthesia machine, and one end into the endoscope, no intubation is needed for short examinations, tracheal collapse and other examinations, more common in clinical practice. The surgical animal will be placed in prone position, and the head can be appropriately padded with gauze to facilitate the passage of the endoscope. Monitor vital signs throughout the procedure. Bronchoscope and alveolar lavage will start when endoscope was prepared and the animal was put under anesthesia. Bronchoscope. The operator stands on the cephalic side of the surgical animal with the left hand controlling the operating section, the right hand holds the front end of the endoscope and controls the entry and exit of the endoscope. The endoscope enters the trachea through the oral cavity, and the normal trachea should be close to round, with the tracheal cartilage in a C shape, accounting for about two-thirds of the tracheal circumference, with the notch facing rear. The normal tracheal mucosa is smooth and light pink in color. The submucosal vessels are usually visible, but they are more prominent in inflammatory diseases. Alveolar lavage. Pre- and intraoperative alveolar lavage is required to ensure proper oxygen supply to the surgical animal. A line is usually used, 
with 3 ml to 5 ml for dogs and 5 ml to 10 ml for larger dogs. If a sample is obtained it can be lavaged 1-2 times, and if there is mucus in the lungs it is necessary to repeat the lavage several times until it is clean. Once the endoscope is positioned at the lesion site, saline can be injected. The fluid is left for a few seconds, aspirated through the endoscopic suction channel, and the lavage is repeated until a good sample is obtained. Samples should be taken from at least two sites, usually left and right, and any localized abnormal areas. Samples after lavage were processed in three parts. PC or for virus screening bacterial drug sensitivity test, centrifugation for cytological examination. After the endoscope is used, the mucus is immediately rinsed with water and sent for further cleaning and disinfection after rinsing for the next surgery. Hospitals with cleaning and disinfection machines can use it for thorough disinfection and sterilization. Nasal endoscopy. Nasal endoscopy is a very simple and quick examination of the nasal cavity and the esophagus by looking at the structures inside the narrow nasal cavity and nasal tract under visualization conditions. Since the structures inside the nasal cavity are rather tortuous and convoluted, endoscopy allows for a full and careful exploration of all the tiny details of the nasal cavity and allows for magnified observation which helps to detect various lesions in the nasal cavity, as well as diagnose the cause of certain diseases. Nasal Endoscopy Precautions The animal is placed in a prone position, which facilitates the passage of the endoscope. Check the posterior nostrils from the oral cavity endoscope. This operation can reverse the observation of the posterior nostrils and evaluate whether there are tumors and other foreign objects in the posterior nostrils. Enter the scope from the nasal cavity, the operation requires water injection while entering the scope, after entering the scope, the inferior nasal tract, middle nasal tract and upper nasal tract are visible in order. After passing through the middle nasal tract, and entering the posterior nasal cav, the posterior nostril can be evaluated for masses and other abnormalities. Nasal examination may damage the nasal mucosa and cause bleeding which will usually resolve on its own without special treatment. Then we come to the otoscopy. Otoscopy examination is mainly to observe the physiological and pathological changes of the external auditory canal and tympanic membrane under visual conditions. It can also grasp foreign bodies or clamp lesions for pathological analysis and further diagnose related diseases such as otitis, tympanic membrane perforation, foreign bodies in the external ear canal, external ear canal injury, etc. Precautions for otoscopy examination. The operation requires water injection while entering the endoscope, and if there is ear canal secretion, it can be rinsed repeatedly to achieve the purpose of cleanliness. TK Vetkit Small Animal Endoscope has a slim body, so it can make an examination of the middle ear to see if there are any lesions and other abnormalities. The fluid in the ear canal, will be suctioned clean at the end of the procedure. Now it's cystoscopy. Erythrocystoscopy is the visualization of the anatomy and gross pathology of the bladder and erythral cavity and the biopsy specimen for histopathological examination. A clinical diagnosis can also be made by retaining a urine sample from the upper urinary tract through a ureteral cannula and simple treatment of certain urinary tract disorders can also be performed through cystoscopy. Cystoscopy precautions. The surgical animal needs to be catheterized before surgery so that the urine and its suspension do not interfere with the surgical field. The procedure requires entering the scope from the genitalia with the assistance of an assistant, injecting water while entering the scope and observing whether the erythral mucosa is normal during the procedure. Before entering the bladder, the endoscope needs to be filled with water in an appropriate amount to expand the bladder sphincter to facilitate the smooth entry of the endoscope, and when the endoscope reaches the ureteral opening, urine is seen to flow out continuously from the ureteral opening. Cystoscopy also allows for simple treatment of certain urinary tract disorders, such as, 1. Electrocautery of small bladder tumors in conjunction with an electric knife, 2. 
removal of foreign bodies and crushing to remove smaller stones, 3. Treatment of urteral strictures and other diseases. After the endoscope is used, the mucus is immediately rinsed with water and sent for further cleaning and disinfection after rinsing for the next surgery. Hospitals with cleaning and disinfection machines can use it for thorough disinfection and sterilization. Operation Notes 1. Except in rare cases, only advance the insertion tube. When it is clearly visible, never apply pressure forward without visualization. 2. If the lens becomes dirty, clean it by flushing gently passing the endoscope lens along the mucosa removing the endoscope and aspirating water through the insertion tube then gently wipe the lens with clean gauze. When there is red vision, when the operator's field of view consists of only pink, red mucosa, or uncertainty about the position, withdraw the lens until it is repositioned to the center of the tube lumen.